Cracking, what's cracking, what's cracking, everybody? It's the people's champ. So, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is strictly to gear towards um, the people's, I'm going to say like myself and like many out there that's struggling with a nine to five job, struggling to actually figure out their purpose in life. Now, what I did in order to figure out what it was that I wanted to do in life was I went cold turkey. I cut out everything. And what I mean by cutting out everything, I mean I isolated myself from um, friends, family, uh, job that I wasn't happy with, um, girlfriends all whatever I isolated myself and I actually took the time to try to figure out what it was that I was passionate about not what I was good at because I'm good at a lot of things right so I had to figure out what it was that I was passionate about and it took me actually about a year or two to figure out what it was I was passionate about I'm like, damn, what it is that I can't give up, that I enjoy doing, and it don't feel like I'm being forced to do it. It don't feel like a job. And I was like, damn, I enjoy being in a gym, but I don't want to be a trainer because I want to continue putting into myself. So I knew I didn't want to be a trainer, but I knew I enjoyed being in the gym, right? So I was like, still like, damn, what do I want to do? What? Do I? Then I was like, damn, I enjoy competing and bodybuilding. So I was doing music and everything. And I felt that bodybuilding would take off first, faster. Because I was watching different DVDs and VHS tapes and reading different magazines because I really thought that these guys was 100% natural and just taking the shit that was in the magazine, which was creatine, protein powder, amino acids, glutamine, and a pre-workout. I thought that's what they was really doing and I thought they was just eating a ton of red meat. So when I got into it, into that field, and I couldn't see my body to react and couldn't see it to work like these guys. I'm like, damn, I'm spending $500 a month on all these fucking potters. And I'm not getting nowhere near the look that they got. I'm like, damn. So I got discouraged. And I said, fuck it. I don't even want to do that. But I'm still train. I'm going to still go in the gym. I'm going to still work out. So... Um, once I got to the top of competing with the whole of natural thing and all of that, I decided that I was done because, and naturally they was on the enhancements too. I just didn't know. And I'm like, how is it that? They can get their body to look like that. And I can't get mine to look like that. It's because they was on enhancements too. And that's where you got like the guys like Ulysses that had gyno and all of a sudden don't clear indication motherfucker was taking steroids. That's where you get people like him tearing your ass up because they had the edge. So when I realized that I had to do the same thing, it took a whole long time process of thinking because I actually didn't start until I was 33 around that age some 33 34 around that age I started real late with trying to take gear so for the first two years didn't know absolutely nothing which me I only went so starting 33 and then taking two years not knowing what to do what this and that so Realistically, we figured 35, I started doing it the right way, right? Okay. 
I still had people feeding me the wrong information, giving me the wrong shit because I still couldn't get my body to look like theirs. I didn't know that I had to eat a certain type of way. So I was trying to do the whole clean thing. Wouldn't gain no weight. So the moment I started mixing dirty meals, and what I mean dirty is like uh, Five Guys, uh, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, fucking uh, Tumby's Pizza, um, Domino's, on top of still doing clean is when I noticed my body started reacting and changing. Now, um, as far as the gear, I still didn't know exactly what to take until I got with Rich. And that's when Rich told me and showed me how to use and what to use, when to pull it, stop it. You know, he, he gave me the ins and outs with that, you know. And then um, I also started moving up in a ladder and meeting a lot of top guys and becoming really good friends with a lot of top guys. And then I got other tips from them. And then that's when everything just, boom, I could do it my way. I learned what worked for my body, right? But still, I didn't know that was my passion. <laughs> Fitness, helping people, you know, uh, problem solver, always trying to solve problems. That's what I'm passionate about. So while I was still doing all this, trying to figure it out, I didn't realize my passion, passion until about a year ago. So um, I did a whole lot of trial and error. So for those of you out there that's trying to figure out what is your purpose in life, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It's exactly what you do effortlessly. What you do that don't pertains no extra strain forcing something to work. That's your passion. Something that you really good at. Because then you would know you doing it because you love it and it ain't going to ever feel like a job. It's not going to ever feel like, oh man, you have wasted money into doing this. No, it's going to always seem as an investment. And just because the word investment is in play, don't think that all investments go good because you might lose the money that you put into it. But if you smart and you wise enough, you will learn a lesson from that, which means that you have to spend the money to learn that lesson, which means that it's going to come a time where you can't give information away for free because you paid for that information through all your trial, through all your error, with throughout all the sweat and the fucking tears. And people's turning their back on you, losing girlfriends, um, losing jobs, and everything. Because it's going to get extremely hard and extremely bad for you in order for you to go up. You are going to have to hit rock bottom. I know that sound fucked up. I know that sound like some suicidal type shit like why would I get into something like that's where I gotta hit rock bottom in order for me to actually make it because you have to hit rock bottom because once you hit rock bottom you can't go no lower than that and as long as you got a vision a purpose goal set in your dream you can always make it manifest which mean one thing you're not gonna stay at the bottom because once you at that bottom, you can't go no lower. Long as you driving, long as you continue doing your shit, you're going to go up. You're going to go up. Now, the trick is when you go up, it's about how you got up there. Because if you step in on a lot of people's just to get up there, meaning bad mouth and folks just starting shit, attacking people's. I know y'all probably saying, Mac, but you started stuff. I didn't start nothing with Anyone in this business is not a person that y'all seen me beef with. I start anything with. Trust me, I'm a defense type of man. I only know how to defend myself, which means that the issue was already started 
from somebody else and all I did was defending myself in front of the camera and in front of everybody else's cameras. I don't start anything. I wouldn't make it this far in life being a black male if I started things. A black man my size in this society, if I was a shit star, I wouldn't have made it this far. So trust me when I tell you guys, you cannot go all the way up stepping on people. Well, you can, but this is the twist. You're going to go up stepping on everybody. We all got to come down, baby. We all got to come down. Now, this is the trick. If you do it right and you come down, you balance out. You will not hit rock bottom again. You got to come down and balance out. But if you and stepped on people's while you went up, when you come down, you're going to have to see those people. And you're going to have to answer. And nine times out of ten, the ones that you stepped on are already going up and they passing you up. And when it's time to balance out, those that you stepped on, it's not going to help you. It's not going to give you that little cushion to where you can balance without hitting rock bottom. Let's use Suge Knight, for example. Suge Knight, ruthless, gangster, death row records, hanging people out of the window. Slapping them, slapping up, or up, up his artists, and all of this, all time high. Look at him. He and came down, and he had to meet everybody that he crossed. You got Dr. Dre. He say put a hit on him. You got Snoop Dogg say he want to fight him. You got Daz and Corrupt talking bad about him. You got BG Knockout and his brother talking bad about him. Now he in protective custody in the penitentiary with 25 years. 25 years. So all of that stepping on people's and intimidation factor didn't get him nowhere. It got him exactly where he was destined to be. And that's the penitentiary because it was going to be either dead or in jail. So I hope you guys take this video that I'm displaying to you guys right now to heart because I mean every word I say. And when I tell you I hit rock bottom, I hit rock bottom. And a lot of you guys made fun of me. Oh, Mac Truck living off his wife. But y'all didn't know that I was still working, doing what I can do with the little bit that I had to work with that I gave up a lot of Sources of what I made income from to get to where I'm at now and to continue climbing. You guys made a lot of fun about me. You know, you guys talk so bad about me. But guess what? My skin is so thick and my goal and my mission was so strong to where I didn't even let it phase me. And I'm still out here giving out the same positive energy and the same message to try to help y'all out. You see what I'm saying? And I lost a lot of peoples. I lost a lot of good fake friends. I lost a lot of good fake family members. Because a lot of peoples was around me and was cool with me because I had six, seven, eight cars, two, three motorcycles. You know what I'm saying? A lot of fly shit. So a lot of peoples was around me for that. I let a person borrow my car. I won't see it for six months. Because I have too many. I didn't care about that. But these are things that you guys didn't know because I don't boast and brag about everything that I did and I done and that I have. I don't do that. So I lost a lot of people. But guess what? I gained a whole lot more people that I know that's into me for me. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you guys figure out your passion. Don't rush it. Take your time. And when I say hit rock bottom, I ain't say go to Skid Row. I ain't saying eat out of a trash can. I ain't saying starve yourself. I'm saying you still take care of yourself the best way that you can. And if you got kids, you still take care of them the best way you can. Because guess what? You're going up, baby.
everybody get a shot. Everybody is going to get a shot at its best. It's about what you do with it when you get it. Anyway, I've been ranting long enough. Long enough. Now, I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully, this video can sink into some of y'all heads. And y'all can use this information I gave. Hopefully, I can uplift some of y'all with this information. Hopefully, I can. Until then, I'll talk to y'all later. It's the People's Champ giving it to you, gun barrel straight. That's raw and uncut, no filter. Bam! Kick, kick, kick.